Hello, 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 YouTubers. This is Mary Sims. I'm back again. I was going through my bookshelf earlier, trying to straighten the bookshelf out because it's so packed. You have to have everything arranged a certain way, don't you? Won't be able to fit the books in. But I came across this book called Autobiography of a Yogi. And it's a Paramahansa Yogananda. This is the first book that I read that wasn't um, a self-help for Christians and stuff like that. This is the first book that opened my mind to something else. I think it had to be in the 90s again. Everything happened to me in the 90s. seemed like the 90s was, um, my eyes were beginning to open in the 90s. But this is the book, The Autobiography of a Yoga, and I was looking at it, and it's, it's such tiny print, but I read this whole book, and I had to really be thirsting for it, because I tried to reread it, and it's like my mind wouldn't follow it and couldn't keep up with the words, but I said I'm going to make myself reread it and try to remember to see if I can see what I got out of it that was such a revelation. But I used to go to the bookstore a whole lot, half price bookstores, and, and I'd go there in the mornings. And because I lived right across the street from there, and it would be dark in the evening when I came out of there. But one time I was there, and I just couldn't pick what book I want because I would always go to the metaphysical section. I remember one day I was coming out. I, I didn't find any book. I'd been there for hours. I couldn't find a book that resonated with me. And this this book, The Seat of the Soul by Gary Zukov, this book fell off the shelf. It wasn't like it was, you know, it was on a table. It fell off the table right in front of my feet. And I said, wow, why, why is the book falling on the floor in front of me? And I, I picked the book up, thumbed through it, and I just said, this is an easy book. And it talks about different things. Light, creation, intuition, intention, and addiction. And during that time, I was, um, I wasn't in rehab, but I was going to, uh, oh, what do you call it when you go to A, and I was, I was going to AA meetings to, to uh, rid myself of this drug addiction. But it was pretty good, and it talks about uh, the addiction. I, that's what I read while I was in the bookstore. But here's a picture of the book. The Seat of the Soul. And I think Oprah had <coughs> Gary Zukov on her show a long time ago. This book is pretty old. But I was kind of fascinated about looking at these old books and, and thinking about my mindset during those and during those times. When I was looking at the part in Gary Zukov's book about addiction, and I thought about how how far I've come, because the last time I used drugs was probably, well, when I say drugs, I mean marijuana. I don't know why I want to put that in a whole different category, because it's, it's marijuana is just an herb to me. I might, some people probably see it different, but, um. I hadn't, hadn't used hard street drugs since uh, the early 90s, so that's a while, over 20 years since I've done any drugs. But marijuana, for me, it, it calms my uh, muscle spasms with this MS. I don't like smoking it. it, it the smoke kind of makes me cough and make me have a bad headache. But I will eat the brownies and drink the tea I used to but but I'm in pain management now so you can't you can't have anything except for what they prescribe for you the hydrocodone and stuff for pain so but it would be so nice if marijuana was legalized in the state of Texas but I know we are so far from that but if I live in Denver and what other state uh, that allows marijuana I would uh drink the tea because I, I used to make me a tea and, and you couldn't didn't have an odor or anything to it but my muscle spasm out the jerking and stuff would would be uh 
alleviate it and stuff. But that would be really wonderful if they legalize it. Maybe it will happen. And another another book I have, I got so many books, but J. Krishnamurti, The Book of Life. If you think about it, get that book. Let me show you that one. This is for people who are, you know, on a, trying to um, reach um, enlightenment. That's the word, enlightenment, who are trying to reach enlightenment. There are plenty of books, and then I don't, I don't recommend all books, but there are some. Your soul will resonate with what book you need to go to for enlightenment. But uh, I just wish that I could make me some marijuana tea. I would have these spasm spasms in my legs and in my arms because the jerking. Sometimes it gets and the shaking, it gets to be. Uh, uncontrollable sometimes and I do take what is this medicine called gabapentin and the gabapentin it tells you that if you have an addiction that you're not supposed to take it in a side effect so look like they would do some more research because marijuana I don't understand it doesn't have to me I wasn't addicted to it and I guess some people some people are addicted to it because they have to smoke it every day, and that might be uh, part of uh, people thinking that mass hysteria because people can can mimic something or, or hear something and they can believe that it's happening to them. But marijuana has never been an addiction for me because. I haven't had it in a while since it's, since I can't have it in pain management, so I have been craving for it. But I just wish that I could uh, not smoke it but drink it. And there's a lot of people that I know that are not in pain management that's, that smoke marijuana and use the brownie and the butters and things, and it's right in the state of Texas. I uh, have a friend that grows his own marijuana but like I say I don't dare risk it because I do have to have my pain pain pills so I guess I, I, I guess I'm addicted to the pain pills probably so because this pain is no joke man you um get these bolts and screws in your neck and in your back man that that uh, the pain people wonder after you had a surgery, why are you still in pain? The surgery doesn't, they remove the disc and put some fillers or uh, spacers and put the bolts and screws. They get the uh, disc off the nerve. That pain goes away, but you have the, uh, the arthritis and all that stuff that goes along with that. You're going to always be in pain and you're limited to what you can do. You can't pick up anything heavy and when it rains, you're going to be um, uh, feeling pain uh, before it rains. So, but marijuana does alleviate a lot of pain for me. And then maybe if they legalize marijuana, I wouldn't have to be on the hydrocodone. Because the hydrocodone makes you, uh, messes with your bowels and stuff. You suffer from constipation and stuff. But marijuana would be a great thing to be legal. But anyway, remember these books. This is for these people, for you people who are in search of um, enlightenment and metaphysical books. Because uh, that's what I read a lot. I, it's hard for me to read books that are talking about Christianity and the Bible and stuff. Because, you know, I'm not a good fan, a great fan of the Bible. Nothing against people who who like the Bible, but I just I just rather have something that resonates with me. But I'm at nine minutes and thirty five seconds, and I've said enough. So anyway, I will talk to you later, YouTube. Goodbye.